Next question. What would you tell your past self before you embarked on this internship journey? Today I'll be sharing with you my experiences as a data science intern and also answer a few of the Q&A questions which you all sent in via my Instagram stories a few weeks back. Before we begin, here's a short montage of my day in the life as a data science intern. One, honey. I'm still living, kicking, making bad decisions, looking, cooking, dirty up the kitchen, seconds, minutes, different definitions, must be getting heavier, the scale keep tipping, I'm like, I see pretty faces, but those things always seem to fade away, you know what doesn't fade away, the way I love you, miss you, always want to kiss you, I don't need to save you, you don't need to you always know what you want, never need a man. You always get what you want. We got that common cause. I've been getting what I want. I'm not settling. What's the fun in that? Keep going, keep going, keep going. And I'm still living, kicking, making bad decisions, looking, cooking. Dirty up the kitchen, seconds, minutes, different definitions. Must be getting heavier, the scale keep tipping. I'm I see pretty faces, but those things always seem to fade away. You know what doesn't fade away. So a few weeks back, I did post this uh, Instagram story asking if you have any questions regarding what is it like to be a data science intern. And you all did send in quite a number of replies. After reading through the replies, I believe that these questions can be categorized into three broad categories, which are before, during, and after my internship. Let's start the Q&A now. Before the internship. Question one, how do you get this internship? How do you manage to find such opportunities? And which company are you interning at? As you can see by my t-shirt, I was previously a data science intern at the Home Team Science and Technological Agency or HDX for short. And how I knew about this company was actually through a recommendation by one of my friends, Samuel. I believe you have seen him in the vlogs over here. Previously, he was also an intern at HDX and he was sharing with me about his experiences there which made me intrigued during my national service. I also did attend a tech explore by HDX to see the different tech prototypes that they created, be it forensic stuff, AR, computer vision, or like data science stuff. That event made me more interested in this company as to what they do behind the scenes. And hence, I decided to apply for it as part of my post ORD plans. Question two. Do you require prior knowledge of coding to take on this internship? Or how do you land an internship? Uh, yes, since this is a tech internship, so some technical skills are required. Just a bit of a backstory. A year before I ORD, I started to explore the programming landscape in terms of finding like different job prospects such as software engineering, data analyst, data scientist, or even um, a web developer. During that process, I watched a lot of like YouTube videos about people sharing their experiences in these fields. But ultimately, what caught my attention was the machine learning aspect in data science. Subsequently, I decided to pick up a few data science skills such as um, Python, SQL, data visualization, machine learning, so that I had something to say during my interview when I applied for jobs. So, yes. Moving on to the next segment, during the internship. The question for during the internship is, is the environment good. I'm not sure what kind of environment you mean because in my opinion there are like two different aspects both like the office as well as colleague so I'll just uh, answer them both. So in terms of colleague wise right I feel like my colleagues at the data science department they are very friendly and helpful in terms of sharing their experiences be it during their time in university or even their past job experiences. And honestly, I did pick up a lot of valuable information from them, which I'm very grateful for. On the other hand, in terms of the office, HDX is relatively new and I believe currently their renovations are almost done. As you can see over here, there's a small cafeteria, pantry, spin bikes at the pantry, sleeping pots, 
So there are quite a few interesting things to do in the office actually but of course you watch the office tour by Insider Access over here yeah, you are able to see insights of Razer and Shopee office as well which significantly better than the HTX office because I believe like these companies are more established in a sense. Okay, the next question. Do you have to wear a shirt and pants every day? If you are referring to those decked out uh, investment banker outfit with the tucked in, long sleeve shirt, etc. and dress shoes, then um, no. However, for formality, I normally choose to wear a casual long sleeve shirt and long pants over here. Yeah, you can see. My supervisors didn't really give me an outfit to wear, but I felt that something like this would be most appropriate. Next question, what do you do? During my stint as a data science intern, my main job scope include doing R&D works on state-of-the-art models, as well as creating an extraction model for survey analysis. Next question, what is the ratio of research to actually doing data science and testing your model? Personally, I spend roughly 40% of my time researching and 60% of my time testing the various models. However, coming to think of it, actually, I should have spent more time researching instead. For instance, maybe around 70%, 70 percent, 70 percent researching and 30 percent testing, because I felt that during my time there, I was eager to test out my models and I didn't scope out the various methods used for such um, analysis. So therefore, it resulted in some time being wasted on testing redundant stuff or what has already been proven to be less efficient as compared to other models. When you think about it, that was actually a mistake that I made when I was doing my work there. The next segment, after my internship. Next question, what would you tell your past self before you embarked on this internship journey? This is actually a very good question. I feel that the most important thing is to not be afraid to start or try. Prior to this internship, a lot of my peers did question my capabilities or even my knowledge in the field by saying that, are you sure tech companies will accept you when you haven't even entered uni? Or do you even know anything about data science? Honestly, these comments made me doubt myself prior to the internship too. Whether am I wasting my time to learn this stuff before uni? Or should I instead be enjoying my post ORD life? But ultimately, I knew I had to start somewhere, be it during national service, um, after national service, or even in the midst of uni. So I knew that my commitments in university is going to be relatively higher. So, which is why I didn't want to start then, which ultimately made me consider starting earlier, which is um, during national service when I had some free time. I feel like in many cases, most people, including myself, tend to be rather apprehensive at the start because they are not willing to waste time or make mistakes but be rest assured that the learning experiences from these will definitely help to make you a better person. The last question, when are you going to sign on? So that's the end of this vlog and if you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I will try to reply you as soon as possible. If not, then stay tuned for my next vlog. Thanks for watching!